welcome back everyone so keyboard shortcuts can help you power your way through many computing tasks and in this video i will be sharing 15 browser shortcut that every computer user must know so without any delay let's quickly get started now i have categorized the shortcut in few categories to make you understand better and the first category will be best keyboard shortcut for managing different kind of tab so the first shortcut is Ctrl plus W to close any kind of current tab. So from your keyboard, you will have to press Ctrl along with the W key and the current tab will be closed. Similarly, you can keep pressing it to close all kind of tab. And similarly, if you have closed any kind of tab accidentally and you want to bring it back, then you can press Ctrl, Shift and the T key to bring that tab back. Okay, so this can be really useful for you. If you have accidentally closed any tab and you want to bring it back next you can use the control along with the tab key to switch between different tab so if you press control along with the tab so now you can see that i can switch between different tabs this can be really useful for you if you are working on multiple tab and you want to check that what exactly is going on now next if you want to open a new tab then you will have to press control along with the t key and this will bring up a new tab again you can press it and it will keep bringing up a new tab and now instead of opening a tab if you want to open an entire window then for that you have to press ctrl along with the n key and this will bring up a new window now part of new tab and new window if you want to open any kind of new incognito mode for that you will have to press shift key ctrl and the n key all together and this will bring up a new incognito window where you can browse privately so these were the shortcut for the first category and now let's move to the next category where we will discuss the best keyboard shortcut for navigating. So let's say if you are on any kind of website or any kind of article and you want to switch directly to different kind of link available on that particular page then from your keyboard you will have to press the shift key hold it and while holding you have to press the tab key and it will take you to the link available on that particular page. So keep pressing the tab and it will take you to different kind of links all right so this can be really useful for you if you are looking for any kind of information directly and now next if you want to go back or forward on any particular tab let's say before this you were browsing on any other kind of page or any other website then for that you have to press and hold the alt key from your keyboard then use the side arrow key so if i press the left arrow key along with the alt key now it will take me to the previous page on the same tab Again, if I press it, again, it will take me to the back. Now, if I want to go forward, then I have to use the right arrow key and it will take me forward. All right. So this will be very useful for you if you are on any tab and you open multiple pages, multiple uh, link. And now if you want to go back, then you can use the shortcut key. Okay. Now let's move with some best shortcut for your browser. So if you use the control plus F key on your keyboard, so it will bring up the finder page where you can type any word to find on this particular entire page. Let's say if I'm looking for a word by the name music. So I have to type on it. And the moment I type the full word, it will let me know that how many times this word has been used on this particular page. And all these words will be highlighted in a yellow color. So if I click on the box and hit the enter key. So this will take me to the place where this word has been used. Now this can be really useful for you if you are on any kind of article or any kind of website and you want to find out any statement or any kind of particular link. And next you can use the control along with the D key if you want to bookmark any kind of page. Again if you are on any kind of website and you want to bookmark it. So instead of going with the navigation you can use the shortcut key that is control along with the D key D as in delta. And you will be getting this page the bookmark added now you can click on done or you can also click on edit and now the next shortcut can be really useful for the people who want to zoom any kind of word who have any kind of readability problem so what they can do they can use a control key press and hold it and while holding the control key you need to press the plus key and the page will zoom in now if you want to zoom out then you have to use the minus key instead of the plus and the page will be zoomed out all right now instead of the plus and minus key you can also use the scroller of your keyboard you can scroll up to zoom in and scroll down to zoom out 
then we have another shortcut to refresh the page so many time you have problem reading anything the page is not displaying properly so you can refresh the page using the shortcut key that is control along with the r key and once you press it the page will be refreshed you can see that the page is reloading now you can also hard refresh your page using the shift control and the r key and this will hard reset your page so many time if the refresh doesn't work then you can try the hard refresh using the shift control and r key and now the last shortcut that we have is the control along with the l key so many time you want to go to the address box directly and if you don't want to use your mouse and directly want to jump to this address box so that you can search for any kind of website or search any kind of word so for that you have to use the control along with the l key and it will directly take you to the address box so these were the best 15 shortcut guys and this will really help you to quickly operate your browser moving to different kind of navigations and this can be also useful for you when sometime your mouse is not working properly and this will of course make you a pro user of your computer and that's all guys for today hopefully you found this video helpful if yes do not forget to like and subscribe and i see you in the next video bye bye